Hello everyone, Joe Goth, you're here with another lighthearted devotional. Today's devotional is, As the Heart Thinks, A Journey of Faith, Hope, and Love. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs 4, 23. Isn't it curious how the condition of our hearts can directly impact the world we perceive and our actions? I like to think of it as God's 24-7 mirror. The state of our heart shows up everywhere, doesn't it? Even when, we, even when we think no one can see. Ever tried to smile your way through a frustrating conversation while your heart grumbled like a grouchy bear? Guess what? Although we might, we might have fooled some people, we certainly can't pull a fast one on God. He sees beyond our mask into the inner recesses of our heart. We might as well be holding a neon sign above our head that says, Heart under construction, hard hat area. <laughs> I am reminded of Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinks in his heart, so he is. As we think in our hearts, so we become. Now hold on to your hats, folks, because this is where things get amusingly profound. Think of your heart as a spiritual garden. If you water it with faith, hope, and love, you're likely to get a bountiful harvest of blessings. But if you only water it with negative thoughts, doubts, and fears, then you're likely to grow, well, you guessed it, a forest of worry wards. Ever seen a worry wart? Worry wart? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not a pretty sight. Just like a skilled gardener, we must tend our hearts carefully, sowing seeds of God's word and weeding out any negativity. Planting potatoes and expecting roses might work in a Looney Tunes episode, but it's a surefire recipe for disappointment in real life, and a weird garden to be honest. Let's not forget that a bountiful harvest doesn't come without a bit of fight. Some days you might find your spiritual garden infested with pests of negativity, cynicism, and impatience, and as we all know, Left unchecked, these pests can wreak havoc on our precious plants of positivity. We need to be vigilant, ready to unleash the pest control of prayer and the insecticide of God's infinite love. Our thoughts set the tone of our lives. The more we fill our minds with God's word, the more our lives will reflect the love of, and goodness. But if we let our minds wander in the wilderness of worry, fear, and doubt, we may find ourselves stumbling and tumbling down a path we never intended to take. And we don't want to be known as the great stumblers, do we? I can just see the headline now. Christian sinks and see a negative thoughts. I thought I was walking on water, they said. It's a humorous visual, but it's also a sober reminder of the power of our thoughts. So let's pledge today to guard our hearts and our minds. Let's fill them with God's word that our thoughts may never be rooted in his truth. I'm sorry, may always be rooted in his truth and love. Let me read that over again. Let's fill them with God's word that our thoughts may always be rooted in his truth and love and may never become the great sinkers, but always remain the great thinkers in him. After all, a heart filled with God's word is a buoy that never sinks. No matter how many storms the sea of life might get, stay afloat, my friends. Stay afloat. Hey guys, if you like my videos, please consider giving me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel with the bell notification on. And share these videos with anyone you think might enjoy them. I hope you have a great and blessed day. God bless you all.